Dating a dude for over a year, finding out now that maybe he's into a lot of drugs. So what do you do now? Look, if you got something going on in your life, some drama you want to share with the Burt Show, we turn around, we give it to Burt Show fam. This is the Burt Show lifeblood right here. Mm-hmm. Without your drama, we got nothing. We're going away. So hit us up at theburtshow.com. All right, what do we have? Hi, Burt Show. I'm a relatively new listener of your show for the past six months. Thanks for joining us. And I really need some advice. I don't know who to turn to because I don't want to paint my boyfriend in a bad light to my family or friends. I've been with my boyfriend for over a year now. He moved into my apartment about a month ago. Before that, he was living at home with his parents. When people would tell me, when people would tell me you learn so much about a person by living with them, I had no idea I would be finding something like this out. While I was cleaning his office room one day, I did a little bit of snooping and found... I kid you not, 10 to 15 empty zip bags that clearly used to have Coke in them. So zip bags are like the little itty bitty mini guys. We're not talking about a sandwich bag, right? It could be a sandwich bag. Whoa. (laughs) Yeah, that's like, okay, she's going out with El Chapo. (laughs) (laughs) I can't tell you how many because as soon as I found them, I quickly put them away. It was overwhelmed with shock and disappointment. Sure, I have partaken maybe once or twice before in the last year, but seeing this just shook me to my core. I brought this up to him, and he said they were old baggies that he'd been meaning to throw away. Why you keep them? Yeah, why he's saving those? That's a weird collection. Yeah, Yeah, for sure. (laughs) I believed him, but gave him a stern warning that I don't want to ever, ever see anything like that again. Listen here, young man. (laughs) It's your stern warning. If I see those Coke bags one more time... (laughs) He We're prom- going to have another stern warning. <laughs> <laughs> he promised me I wouldn't. Two weeks later, mm-hmm. I found four new bags. Checked back the next day, and it was five. Damn, he must be getting a lot done. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> easy. I'm sorry. This man got money. Got me. What? Sure. Davina. This what? Ain't, this ain't a cheap That's habit. That's insane. Does he sleep? <laughs> Ever? No. <laughs> I don't know what to do at this point. Yeah. Part of me wants to kick him to the curb, but I love this man. We've talked about marriage and children, and he adores me for everything I am. What should I do? Any advice would man. be appreciated. Uh, we're joking about it. This is a tough one, though. Um, what it's do you guys have? one 855 It clearly is an issue. Uh, he's lying about his habit also. Or he's selling. Or he's, well, you wouldn't keep the... Bags, the little itty-bitty bags, if you're selling, you're right. using Well, I right? obviously don't know how this works. <laughs> <laughs> so that just worked to my advantage. Yeah, you you kind of give the bags yeah. away. Yeah. Stand back. Yeah. I you go- don't just say, here, give me your hand and let yeah. 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 <laughs> I, like, I like to reuse for the environment. Yeah. <laughs> Recycle, I'm, reuse. I am an environmentally safe drug dealer. conscious yep. drug dealer. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, no. Nah, nah. I, I grew up in the 80s. Let me take this one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Holding on to the little bags, though, that are, like, empty. That makes it, no sense. That well, weird. unless you're so desperate that you're like, I could get those little crumbs. You know, like, well, you, it, you just hold them and you you keep that. It also in indicates case. he's doing it in the house. This is not like a mm-hmm. recreational, like, hey, I'm going to do this right before I go out partying, probably. Right? Uh, and I have no idea why you would keep those. But he's still adding to them. So, unless he's going out to the club on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday night, or whatever. Uh, but either way, he's lying, and he's um, he's taking the drugs, so she's got a whole bunch of things to chew on. I think she just got to be real with herself. I mean, he's not going to stop, no matter how many warnings you give him, no matter how you feel. It It is what it is, and it's going to be that way for a while, so can you or can you not deal with it? Yeah, he is not ready to um, either A, admit it, and B, he doesn't think it's a problem. Uh, so if he's not ready... No, he knows it's a problem because he's hiding it. Well, he's not ready to do anything about it. Exactly. So there's nothing yeah. she can do about it. Hey, Kim, good morning. Hey, um, I dated a guy in my 20s who was on pills, and I was completely clueless. This girl needs to run as fast as she can. I think the breaking point for me was finding a pill on the floor, and we had a dog together. And I thought, what if this is a kid? Mm-hmm. You know, the kids are going to run into things like this and puts your kids in danger. So... She needs to be smart. I know it's tough because she probably doesn't want to be alone. I was the same way. But listen to those red flags. They're there for a reason. Appreciate you calling. Now, 95% of the calls coming in are saying, dump the dude, run as fast as you can. But not David here, uh, who is a former drug addict and is saying, like, this dude needs support right now. Mm-hmm. Hey, David. Hey. Hey, go for it. Yeah, um, as a former drug addict, I've been clean now for over eight years. But I know back in... 
back when I was using, I definitely could have used some people telling me, hey, you probably need to get some help before uh, it's too late. So, Well, if in her case here with your experience, if she says, look, I'm, I'm seeing the new bags you clearly are using, and he says, no, I'm not, or he makes a bunch of excuses and he's not ready to address it head on, then what would your advice be? Well, at that point, I tough love. I, you know, she's, she's got to make that hard choice for herself. But uh, um, and from the perspective of, of the user, um, you know, it's just I, I, I feel like the support is if she really loves him and she wants to help him, like get it, find him a rehab, give him, give him some information about some uh, resources available. There's plenty of meetings and, you know, places to go. Hey, I just wanted to say thanks for your comment today, and congrats on eight years yeah, sobriety. Mm-hmm. We're really proud huge of you. deal. Well, thank you, thank you, Absolutely. thanks for calling. Appreciate you, man. The Bird Show.